This shot shows the basic spirometer setup. On the extreme left behind the chair is an oxygen cylinder. Next to that, the spirometer itself. Next to that, flashing on this video, is the monitor screen. And next to that, a computer with printer, keyboard and so on for printing out final traces. As the spirometer itself is filled with oxygen from the green cylinder on the left, you can see the lid rising. There is now a subject attached to the spirometer. You will see her shortly and she's breathing in and out gently and you can see the lid rising and falling as she does so. There's a closer view of it. Measurements can be made directly on the lid, but in this case we have the grey piece of apparatus with the wire coming out of it on the left is a movement sensor which is attached to the computer which will detect those movements and translate them via the computer display them on the video screen as you can see now. You can see a trace on the screen which is going up and down and falling to the right. There's more explanation about that later and on the worksheets. Because there is a canister of soda line between the subject and the spirometer, any carbon dioxide she breathes out will be absorbed. So the total volume inside the apparatus will fall due to the oxygen that she uses. This is why the trace falls to the right. We'll now move in. We will now move into a sequence where the spirometer is attached to a different subject who is going to breathe in and out normally and then deeply. Notice that the subject has the nose clipped, so breathing in and out can't occur through the nose, only occurs through the mouth. So here's the subject breathing gently in and out. You can see the spirometer lid. Those lid movements are translated by the movement sensor, which again is the grey apparatus. And you can see that moving up and down very vigorously now as the subject takes a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And now if we go and look at the trace you'll see again up and down movement together with a general fall to the right. But there that one very deep breath in and out is shown clearly. You'll be able to see a clearer version of this on your worksheet. Notice that the trace is sloping away again to the right. This has already been explained and is due to oxygen consumption. On this simple trace, try counting the number of breaths taken and see if you can work out the tidal volume represented by each breath in squares of graph paper. Have a look at the worksheet for more detailed spirometer traces for you to interpret.